Hi, I'm David, and we got the new FlexJet with us here today, and we're going to be showing you some pointers on assembly of the FlexJet. All right, we have the FlexJet here. This is a prototype, so the ventral fin's already on it. But we're going to access the tail of the model. It comes installed with the parts. We're going to disassemble it a bit in order to uh, show you how to install the stabs and other components. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the nozzle from the back of the model. It has two Phillips screws. Just going to use a Phillips screwdriver. They're a little bit long, so just back them well out. You can leave them in the plastic. Now just pull off the back. You leave the screws in place, and we'll set that aside. Next, we're going to remove the fan hatch. This is where the ducted fan is. Again, those screws can just be backed right out near the end, and then you can. Remove the hatch, and we will set that aside with the screws as well. Now you can see the fan area and the tailpipe. So the first step to remove the tailpipe is if there's any tape holding it in from the factory, you can either cut it with a knife or you can peel the tape away from the tailpipe and probably discard that. After that, you're just going to pull the tailpipe backwards about until it releases from the fan unit a little bit. So let's pull it back till it's free. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to sort of collapse the tailpipe. There's an illustration in the manual of the shape. Just roll it in without creasing it. And then we pull it right out of the model. And you can see how it's kind of folded up on itself. And then you can just set that aside. And now you have access to the interior of the model. Here we have the all moving stab. It's counterbalanced and has the tube, the pivot tube, and the screw pre installed. You can check the screw here to make sure it's snug, or if you want to make sure it's extra, extra secure, you can remove it and put like a dot of CA or epoxy glue on it and put it back in and just make it nice and snug. Install the stab through the bearings. Be careful not to knock out the inner bearing. You can hold it from the inside if you need to and you'll see that it pivots freely. And then inside, you can see that the linkage is there. Of course, we're inverted on the stand here. And I'm just going to kind of snap that on. And uh, now it's hooked up to the servo. So you'll notice in the procedure in the manual, we want you to have the radio hot here, have the uh, radio turned on, have the servos moving, have the elevator centered, you know, no sub trim, no trim, and uh, make sure the arm is fairly perpendicular on the servo. And then with the guides we supply, you can remove this, put it back on, turn the clevis in and out until you get the point of the stab aligned with the fixture that's included with the model to make sure it's properly trimmed. It's important to get the right and the left at the same angle because it'll uh, make the airplane fly much better if you get the right and left stabs aligned very much like each other. Alright, we have our screw here on our 2mm hex wrench. This retains the arm onto the stab pivot tube. So we're going to go ahead, we have the linkage where we want it, we have the radio hot, we've checked the trim, adjusted the clevises, and now we're going to screw the horn with the wrench. You just want to turn that right in until you just feel it get nice and snug. You can check that there's not much play in the stab. All right, we have the tailpipe here. We're gonna reinstall it in the model, reversing the procedure where we removed it before. The fin is now gonna be installed as far as the procedure to glue that in. So we have a tailpipe. We're gonna fold it back on itself like we did when we removed it. Place it inside the model. Then we're just going to release it and we're going to work it over the motor and as far forward as possible, as quickly as possible, until we have it expanded inside. You can check the alignment, make sure the seam's reasonably aligned at the top of the model. Make sure it's how you want it. Then I use kind of a tapping procedure with my palm on the back and I get it forward and a little forward pressure and then eventually. It'll just jump right on there. So we have the tailpipe in place now. It's not taped yet or anything. To set the right length, we're going to reinstall the nozzle right back how it came off. 
run the two screws in and they'll just run in you'll kind of feel it get a little bit snug you don't want to over tighten them it just holds the nozzle in place and then you can set the tailpipe distance you want the tailpipe to basically be a flush with the aft edge of the nozzle so you can just gently pinch with your finger a little bit and very smoothly gradually just work the tailpipe back to the position you want once you have the position you want you want to grab your tapes that are included now I have a little trick I like to do with the tape in case I want to remove it later I fold one end of the tape over on itself so there's a little tab you can release it so we want those at like 10 o'clock a little bit around the corner there rub it down then you do your other tape got the edge folded over and that one's kind of like at 2 o'clock rub that down that's all that's needed to hold your nozzle in place and then we're simply going to reinstall the hatch that we removed earlier it fits one direction you can tell pretty easily which way it goes and just run the screws down until they're snug now the assembly of the Taylor model is complete